Hey there, Melamina here. Welcome back to my bikini competition journey. This is episode number 62, Goodbye Cheat Meal. So over the course of this journey, um, the target date, well, I never actually had a set date for my show, um, but the, the loose range that I've been targeting has changed a couple of times. So um, most recently, I have been targeting the fall of this year, so the fall of 2023, and the good news is that I am still on track for that. So everything is taking shape really well, despite my hip injury. Um, if you missed it, I talked a little bit about my MRI results last time. Um, so if you missed it, go back and you can get all the details there. Um, but I have moved through all kinds of fatigue, um, the grief of losing both of my parents, this hip injury, um, GI issues, like there have been so many things that have revealed it's themselves on this journey and I have just continued to kind of move through it, move past it, moved around it as best I possibly can and the good news is that we are still on track for the fall of 2023. So since we are getting a little bit closer, we're now like three to four months out from a potential show date, my um, coach is starting to dial things in a little bit more. So previously, I was able to do one cheat meal per week. Um, it was untracked. I could have whatever I wanted. And technically, I was supposed to stay within 300 calories over my target calories for the day. So for quite some time now, my calories um, have been 1,975. So um, she would have wanted me to stay within 300 of that target. Now, because a lot of times it was untracked, I don't always know if I was able to keep it within that tight amount of overage. Um, but I would often like restructure the rest of that day as well um, to kind of make room or make space for a bigger meal. Um, that has come to a screeching halt. And the other thing that I have had to let go of is one alcoholic beverage per week. Honestly, I wasn't really having that many um, alcoholic beverages per week anyways. I was maybe having like one a month. Um, so that is a little bit easier to um, kind of let go of. Although I will admit, I find myself kind of like jonesing for a glass of wine with dinner lately, which I rarely ever do anyways. Usually if I um, enjoy an adult beverage, it's outside of my home because I'm out somewhere. Um, but anyways, so that was previous. And now going forward um, for an unknown amount of time, I don't know if it'll be like this the whole rest of the time or if she's going to tighten it up again even. Um, but right now, I'm allowed to have two to three what she calls more processed meals per week. So I don't 100% know what that means, um, but I guess, <laughs> I mean, off the top of my head, it kind of makes me think like I can have a bologna sandwich or like, you know, um, like a deli sandwich or, or something like that, which would be a little bit more processed, um, would probably have like a higher amount of like sodium in it or, or something like that. Um, so far, the only thing that I've done, oh, and then I should also say that one of those meals can be um, a restaurant meal if I need it to be or want it to be or whatever. However, the caveat on that is that I need to keep the meal very simple and basic so that, uh, so that I can kind of eyeball the macros for it. So I've done two things so far that follow these new out guidelines. Um, the first one is that I did have a meal out. I had brunch <laughs> with a friend who was um, moving over to the East Coast and we wanted to tell her goodbye and send her off well. And so we had brunch and my meal consisted of like two eggs, two pieces of bacon, and a side of rice, which I think was probably about um, half a cup of rice or so. So that was my fabulous brunch. And of course I had just had, well, I did have coffee, but it was black, there was nothing in it, black coffee to drink. Um, so that was my fabulous brunch. And then the other thing that I've done that is a little bit different from my regular meals is um, I had a burger for the 4th of July but it was a homemade burger 
that I did here at the house. And so I was able to very easily um, figure out the macros and build it into my meal plan for that day and then kind of, you know, um, adjust the rest of my meals around it. And sorry, I'm suffering from an allergy attack at the moment. So I, sorry for my face like melting off. But, but um, yeah, so I've already implemented these new guidelines and it has been um, a little while since I've had a full on cheat meal. I'm not jonesing quite yet, but I have, you know, had a few instances where it's like, oh, it would be nice to have some ice cream or, you know, it would be, it would be nice to have something different. Um, because honestly, my, my meals are a carbon copy of yesterday. I, you know, ate X, Y, and Z yesterday, and today I'm eating the exact same thing. Yes, it's boring but it makes meal prep really easy. I have everything memorized by now. Um, and I mean, honestly, even though I've been eating the exact same thing for a very long time now, I'm happily not too bored of it. Like I still get a little bit excited for certain meals. And I sometimes over like long periods of time, I'll change up something. And I did um, for a while now, I have been working in a little piece of um, dark chocolate after my dinner so like at the very end of my dinner so I can have like a little dessert um, which really helps because then it doesn't make me feel like I'm just completely deprived of absolutely everything um, so yeah goodbye cheat meals um, this is the new normal for the moment and I'm sure I shouldn't get too used to it because I you know she'll probably be changing it up and when she does I'll let you know Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Sorry I'm a little late with this one again. The time has just been getting away from me lately. Um, so I am posting a little bit late and I do apologize. For, but thanks for sticking with me. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and liking. Feel free to share it with anyone who might be interested as well. And um, yeah, questions, comments, concerns, interpretive dances, feel free to pop those in the comments section below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button because apparently... I'm posting all over the place now, so if you're subscribed, you'll get a notification when I drop a new video. Alrighty, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.